let you run out of hope. No, Run. How do I don't run. This woman gonna overtake me. You remember when 
wife said, oh, boy, you looking good. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like that Hebrew skin color. She started looking at the kind of old kind of cock eye. Hallelujah. Well, let me go. And so she wanted to step out. But Joseph said, I got to run out of here. Hallelujah. He said, I don't care. Take the clothes, but I'm going. Hey, hallelujah. I ain't got time to sit there and fuss and fight with her. I got to run. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. And so he said, I got to run from this thing. Something you ain't got time to debate about. Something you ain't got time to fight with. Something you just got to run away from. You run today. You get to fight tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. When someone pull out a gun, boom, I'm running. I know I can't outrun that bullet, but I'm going to run away from that direction that bullet coming in. Come on, hallelujah. I ain't got to say that. Oh, you ain't going to pull the trigger. I was foolish like that one time. When that guy pulled out a clock with 17 rounds, praise God, and hallelujah, I was down there on Freddy, uh, on Flat Street. Hallelujah, I'm about to call it Freddy Street. <laughs> hallelujah, I was down there by Freddy so much, hallelujah. But I was down there, and he pulled out that gun, hallelujah, and I just got back from Desert Storm. You know, I came back from war, hallelujah, I survived a war, I'm invincible. Yeah, he helped me. <laughs> and I pray for hallelujah. He helped me indeed. Hallelujah. And he pulled out that glove and he looked at me and he said, I'll shoot you. I said, man, those bullets can't hurt me. I was a foolish man. That was a time to run. That was a time to run. But I was not in my righteous mind. Hallelujah. I had my hope in my flesh. Not hope in God. Hallelujah. But God had another plan for me. Because the Bible, what, what he showed me later, uh, one of his cousin told me, he said, you know, my cousin shot someone with that same gun two weeks later in Texas. Glory now, not in Texas. See, that was a bullet that had my name yeah, on it. But, but thank God, hallelujah, he didn't let him pull that trick. So sometimes you can be foolish and don't know when to run. But that was the time to run, not fight. Hallelujah. So he'll give you script. Hallelujah. That you can get through some things. That you can run from some things. Hallelujah. And then the third thing he tells us, he said they shall run and not be weary. Hallelujah. And they shall walk. walk. Hallelujah. Because some of us ain't at the stage of running no more. Glory. If I could run, I would, but I'm going to walk this and that. Y'all know that song, walk it out, walk it out. Hallelujah. I'm going to have to walk this and that. There's something you just got to walk out. Hallelujah. He's saying they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. You mean to tell me you can pass out from walking? Yes, you can. He said, but I'm going to give you script. Hallelujah. That you don't faint in this thing. Because he tells us in 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, verse 16. He said, for which cause we faint not. But though our other man perish, tell someone perish, that means dying, that means being killed, hallelujah, being destroyed, yet the inward man, tell someone the inward man, hallelujah, is renewed in hope, the inward man is where hope is residing, because remember, hope is the anchor of your soul, and your soul is on the inward part, he said, but do our outward man perish, yet the inward man is what? He is renewed day by day. Hallelujah. We wake up the new hope. We wake up the new mercy. We wake up the new grace. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So sometimes you need to walk away. That's right. Hallelujah. And he'll give you hope. He'll give you encouragement. He'll give you strength. Hallelujah. To walk away from that conversation. Come on, you about to give him the last piece of your mind. Come on, you ain't got too much left. And you about to share a piece there. Let me give you a piece of my mind. Baby, you ain't got nothing but a piece. You sure you want to keep it? Hallelujah. And so therefore, he will give us the script. Hallelujah. So we can walk away from it. There's something you've been tied down to for so long, you don't know how to walk away from it. You try to walk away from it, but every time you walk, it seems like it has you on a screen and pull you right on back. Come on, hallelujah. Y'all know how y'all threw them cigarettes out the window? <laughs> and then it boomerang back into your car? Even if you have to turn around and go pick it up? Come on. Because you ain't had the strength to walk away. But God, oh, come on, tell someone, God, 
told. Well, when you did walk away because he gave you strength to do so. I did. Because, come on, y'all have been caught up in a conversation before. Get your holy self. Oh, hallelujah. Because sometimes we act like we don't sin and don't do nothing wrong. Hallelujah. You done got caught up in a conversation and you should have walked away when they started telling you the first lie. When they start telling you the first part of that ugly joke. How do you know where it was going at? Sometimes we want to entertain our flesh. I want to see the outcome of this thing. Hallelujah. You really don't want to see the outcome. Hallelujah. So therefore, he'll give you the script to walk away. Tell us what I need a script. To walk away. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, hallelujah, I don't have enough script just to get by. But he said he will renew our script day by day. Every day there's a new hope that you can be better. How do when you fail at yesterday? He'll renew that hope today. That I failed yesterday, but I ain't failing today. I came up short yesterday, but I ain't coming up short today. How do you don't judge me on yesterday? Because I've been renewed in hope. Hallelujah. I've been renewed in hope. He said, for which cause we faint not. So don't give up. Don't faint. Don't get tired. Hallelujah. Why your outward man is perishing, it's good. Tell someone it's good. It's good. For my outward man to perish. Come on, I don't need to lose hope when my outward man is perished. That's a good thing. I need that outward man to die daily. Hello. Hallelujah, you cuss a lot yesterday, but he's dying today. Now you only got one cuss out. Yesterday you had quite a few cusses. Come on, everybody who saw you, oh, don't, don't act like y'all ain't never cuss up in here. Save folk be cussing folks out. I done heard. Well, they say they say. <laughs> Let me not judge their salvation. Hallelujah. But they, they, they just have not resurrected in their hope. Right. That tomorrow, see, when you have that hope that I want to stop doing something. Yeah. Hallelujah. Even though you come up short in it because you want to come out. Right. Right. You are renewed the next day right. or the next time that I can do it better. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So sometimes you need to walk away. Mm -hmm. He said, but yet the inward man. Tell someone the inward man. Hallelujah. That's the one we need to renew. That's the one we need to keep hope alive in. In that inward man. Hallelujah. Because the outward man is going to cause you problems as long as you're here. But that inward man gives you strength to come out of it. Tell someone I need the strength to come out of this thing. Hallelujah. Because hope is a blessing. The ability to fly with stuff. The ability to run from stuff. And the ability to walk away. See, sometimes you don't, you don't need to run. You need to walk. It look cooler when you're walking away from it. It, it look like, oh, God is in control. Hallelujah. You know, you got that certain swag about it when you walk away. Because my confidence is in the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't got no confidence in myself. Hallelujah. Built for me, I'll be scratching and biting and, 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 and pulling your ear and all kind of other stuff. I'll be fighting you. I'll, I'll be like Mike Tyson. I'll be hungry for your ear. <laughs> Only sports people can catch that. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll bite your ear off. Hallelujah. But when you got that script of God, hallelujah, he's renewing your hope. Hallelujah. That, look, I used to fight, but I ain't fighting no more. I ain't got to fight no more. Come on, I was a drunk before, but I ain't got to be a drunk again. Oh, y'all don't want to talk up in here. Hallelujah, I was a whore yesterday, but I ain't a whore today. It's being renewed. Amen. Don't you, oh, praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Don't y'all know the woman um, that was caught in adultery was a whore, a prostitute? Hello? She, she was a whore and prostitute the day she got caught. But the next thing she wasn't. That's right. Oh, y'all don't want to talk up in here. Just because you was yesterday don't mean you'll be today. She was new. She was renewed in hope. He gave her hope when it seemed like it was hopeless. When everybody around you want to stone you. Y'all never felt like everybody around you want to stone you? Everybody around you want to kill you? But I thank God. Hallelujah. I'm holding on to hope. Uh, uh, give me verse uh, 4, 15 through 17, if you don't mind. Hallelujah. I want to go back up now. Hallelujah. And then come down. Oh, yeah. 
He said, for all things are for your sake. Come on, say it for your sake. No. That the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. All you going through, everything you are going through is for God's glory. The hope you have in it is to glorify him. Because you obviously you sick and tired of being sick and tired. You sick and tired of going through these things. Brother Flower, I know you was tired. You were real tired. You used to avoid me at one time. You used to hide from me at one time. But now, hallelujah, he come up and bring me peanuts. <laughs> hallelujah, before you like, tell okay, Pastor Peanut somewhere. <laughs> When people don't want to talk to you, that tells a lot how y'all don't want to talk up here. When they run away from you, hallelujah, they feel ashamed about something. But now he comes up bold because his hope is renewed. Oh, this is for God's glory. Going back to verse 7, I'll go to 16 and now I'll work it on through 17. Praise God. He's for which cause we faint not. Come on, I'm not giving up. But through our outward man perish, yeah, it's going to die. Thank God, it need to die. Yeah. That's the reason why I came to church. Jesus. Amen. Can I get an amen there? Yeah. Hallelujah. Anybody else like that? That's the reason why you showed up. That's the reason why you come to church. That's the reason why you read your word. That's the reason why you pray. That's the reason why you fail. Because you want that outward man to perish. Come on, y'all don't want to talk up in here. Hallelujah. My son said, kill a fat man. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, yet that inward man, tells on the inward man, Amen. is to be renewed. While one is dying, y'all got to hear the Hallelujah. Even though one is dying, I got hope on the other. Because both of them cannot dwell in that same place. Come to the Bible and bitter and sweet. We, we don't want him to come out of the same fountain. Can you imagine going to the fountain? And it's like a, 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 a what, what would be the word? I don't know what I'm going to get. Huh? Hallelujah. I don't know whether I'm going to be sweet or bitter. Come on. I, I ain't leaving it up to chance. Hallelujah. I want the sweetness of the Lord. And I want whatever's coming out of me to be sweet too. Hallelujah. You can get flies with vinegar. But you get them better with sugar. Nah, come on, come on. Lord, what he said, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Go to verse 17. And then 18. He said, For our light, test one light. Our light affliction, which is but for a moment. What you going through? Ain't nothing but a light moment. <laughs> How do you have it as you think it is? Come on, see like the world about to fall down on you yeah. when you're going through some stuff. Yeah. But it's a light affliction. For a light affliction, which is but for a moment. for a moment. Hallelujah. In the when you look at it in the span of time, it really ain't that long. Come on now. When you was having that baby, it seemed like forever. Well. Y'all mother can relate, amen. Hallelujah. But now you look back and it was just a moment. Hallelujah. And you thank God for that moment. That's right. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't caught that. Hallelujah. You thank God for that moment. At the present, you don't feel like thanking God. Hallelujah. Lord, why I got to go through these pain? Why I got to suffer? You should just let Eve suffer. But now I got to go through all these pain. But after you have received. My Lord. My Lord. When that hope is burnt up. Oh, what? Hallelujah. You forget about all the pain of it. You look back and you don't remember the labor. Come on, you remember the birth. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't never hear nobody come up. Oh man, hallelujah. I was in labor for 50 years. You know I'm trying to exaggerate a little bit. Hallelujah. I've been in labor for 50 years. Nobody come up there. Hallelujah. They told you I went through something. But I thank God for what, what came out of it. Glory. Glory. Then he finished up, he said. Uh, which is but for a moment. Yeah. Work is tell someone it's working on your behalf. Come on, it's working in your faith. He said, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal. What you think is heavy ain't compared to the heaviness of the glory God about to put on your life. <laughs> he said, work for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. So what you're going through is heavy, but what you about to get out of, what you about to give God glory of, is going to weigh way more. Yeah. Ooh, good Lord. Hallelujah. So give me verse 18. I'm going to close down. Hallelujah. He said, while we look, 
Come on, tell someone, don't look not. Look not. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not Come on, not seen. For the things which are seen are what? What you're going through is temporary. But you don't know there's a way to glory burning up on the other side that's eternal. I'm going through this for God. Hallelujah. I'm suffering persecution for God. I'm living for God. He said, those things which are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. That means it's temporary. It don't last long. Just like that flesh is dying, hallelujah, so is your situation around you are also dying. He said, but the things which are the things which are not seen are hallelujah. That's what we need to have our eyes on. Yeah. Ooh, good Lord. Hallelujah. Go, go to verse 19. This, this will finish it up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is it 19? That's it? That's it. Oh, I, I must got another scripture in my head. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So therefore, he said, why hope for something you don't, you, you see? If you can see, What's the need of hoping for? Huh? There ain't no need to hope for something you already see. How do when you hope for it and it manifests, that's faith. And that's what we want. We want our hope to transfer to faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once your hope materializes into faith, it transfers, it changes everything. That's the Lord. There's a blessing in hope. He said, you are saved by hope. Good Lord, y'all can shout right now. Hallelujah. You, you, you saved by hope. I know he said you saved by faith, you saved by grace, but I also say you saved by hope. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, I'm hoping. And I ain't staggering. I believe in God. That what he say, hallelujah, is going to come to pass. What I'm hoping for is going to manifest. Lord, I thank you for the blessing of hope. So mothers, don't give up hope. Fathers, don't give up hope. You might have an estranged relationship right now, but don't give up hope. Things can change. Hallelujah. What I am today is not what I was before. Come on, we are all grown. Hello. Some of us grown for the good and some of us grown for the bad. But we have grown. So I can't think that the situation is not going to change. Hallelujah. I got to believe and hold on to that hope that one day, hallelujah, Abraham said, I'll become the father of many nations. Hallelujah. That one day I can see my sons preaching. I don't know about you. I can see my daughters preaching. I don't know about you, but that's the hope of a preacher. That is, that, that's the hope of a father that's a preacher. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is it wrong for me to hope that way? No. Hallelujah. If they get saved, why shouldn't they? That's right. yeah. They are called to preach. Yeah. Go out and preach this word, right? Yeah. Come on. So that's my hope. If it ain't your hope, they ain't my problem. Nah. But don't kill my hope. Nah. Hello. Amen. Can you imagine the hope that you had in me? Yeah. When I came there, yeah. hallelujah, an uh, uh, old Dallas cowboy down, yeah. still smelling like a liquor still. Come on now. Still smelling like marijuana. Look at yeah. Hallelujah. Because I was high from the day before. Yeah. And then I walk up in the church. I didn't want to go to church because I was like, man, this church going to fall out. I'm so high, I might blow it up. <laughs> when they done that, Pastor? Oh, you already never been there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm just talking about me. I'm, I'm walking in there high. Oh, but I came out so. Oh, Won't he do it? Yeah. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Yeah. Hallelujah. He will trans. He, he will change you. Right in the moment. Yeah. In the middle of it. Nah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the Lord. Thank you. He brought me out of that. Amen. But I could have lost hope. My mom had to have hope yeah. that one day hmm. that little black sheep. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever been called the black sheep or the family? Mm -hmm. I, I guess I, we got a lot of black sheep up in here. Mm -hmm. It, it seemed like we was the only black sheep. Hallelujah. Didn't know God had a family for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, black sheep. Hey, black sheep. Hallelujah, because God is changing things. He let us know that just because you don't look like everybody else, but he called you out. He said, you are a peculiar people. Yeah. You are a royal yeah. priesthood. Yeah. I don't know about you, but God calling for the black sheep to come out. Yeah. The one that people counted out. The one that people say will never be anything. Yeah. God bringing you out. Yeah. I hope there's going to be a change one day.
me. And it has. I don't know. I can only speak for myself. But he doesn't change me. Anybody else know that God doesn't change you? Anybody else know that hope working in you right now? Anybody know that hope is saving you right now? Hallelujah. I may not be where I want to be at. But God knows I thank God. He's still working on me. And I ain't using that as an excuse to stay in that place. Because sometimes we use that excuse. Well, you know, God working on me. Well, when he gonna be finished? He did, I don't know about you, but uh, 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 he, he did the world in six days. Yeah. Why got to take so long for you? Uh, 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 let's kill that argument right there. Hallelujah! I think you got a little saint in you. Hallelujah! Praise God! You have some a repentance moment about you. So therefore, don't fight it. Receive it. Receive what God has for hallelujah, you. Hallelujah. Why are you resting on your feet today? The blessing of hope. Too many times we got caught up in the temporal things and not in eternal things. Hope has to be eternal. Hope was built in the blueprint of the kingdom. Isn't that awesome? That God had to put hope in the kingdom. Because you know if you didn't get hope, you will never get faith. Never. And if you don't get faith, you will never get love. Hallelujah. Thank God. There's kids right now. Hallelujah. That are in orphanage right now. Holding on to hope that one day they have a mother or a father. Yes, God. Can you imagine taking that hope away from them? The world keeps trying to take the hope away from them. But guess what? Even though they have a natural one, they can have a spiritual father. We look at the life of Kirk Frank. We ain't always agree with his music, but now y'all shouting all over it. Amen. Hello. Who came out of the same thing? When his family, he was cast out. He was abandoned. But he held on the hope of God's word. And it changed him. Hope has the ability to change us. Hallelujah. And when my hope has materialized in the faith, hallelujah. I don't need a hope for it anymore. It's evidence now. Bring it to pass, brother. It's evidence right now. Tell someone it's evidence right now. Hallelujah. The blessing of hope. If he needed hope back in the days of Adam, when he was in the garden, can you imagine God did not leave him hopeless? I mean, he committed the first sin in the garden. Him and his wife, they disobeyed God. Well, it's more so blame on him and on anything else. God gave Adam the commandment. Hello. And when you're teaching it to someone else, you know, you are held accountable as a teacher, but the responsibility still lies on the student. But yet still you have a level of, uh, 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 level of accountability with it. And God said, I'm not going to leave you hope. He told her, he told the serpent, you know what? You want to bruise their ankle, but they're going to bruise your head. Yeah. Isn't that hope right there? That I can stomp on the devil's head? Yeah. Hallelujah, because I got power to my, my, my brother, my big brother, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When he slew death, when he got up out of the grave, yeah. when he defeated sin, oh, come on, he bruised the head of Satan. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but it's the time for us to stomp on the head of the devil. That's the hope right there. He said, I'm going to bring you out. What looked like you can't escape from, God got to bring, it out, bring you out of it. When they ain't got nothing else to hold on to, I'm going to hold on to the hope. That the person sitting by me, standing by me, will get such a relationship with God. That'll make me jealous. Uh, come on, you, 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 you should pray that for someone. That the person you beside, hallelujah, will get so much of, of God in their life that it makes you jealous. I don't know about you, but that's a good jealousy right there. To be jealous, hallelujah, that, that they got the light of God in them. I thank 
You're hungry. 
of coming together. Yes, right. Don't want to stop here. But I thank God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's give God one more praise. Let's give God two more praise.